Man, he has had the house, he's had the wife, he's had the job, but now all they got is a dog. <laughs> and a lot of great material. <laughs> you guys give it up for the midlife comic, my man Jason Shoulder. Hello, Charlotte. You guys look so beautiful, so happy. I'm just standing up here trying not to become my parents. It's not going well. I got my father's bulging belly and my mother's childbearing hips. Not to mention his receding hairline and her bad taste in men. And don't get me wrong, I like women. Almost exclusively. But I lived in Los Angeles for a long time, and that, that town ruined me for dating. Because most of the women I met, I was a lot younger. And most of them, they were either actresses, or models, or remodels. And they are not an easy group of people to please. Beautiful, yes. Easy to please, no. And the last woman I dated broke up with me when she found out I play guitar. She said, my ex-husband played guitar, and he was in a band, and I just don't want the same things I wanted when I was 25. And so I asked her, you know, what kind of guy are you looking for now? A drummer. <laughs> I'd rather be pounded than plucked. <laughs> Got a table full of drummers right here. She adopted this cat, and I'm allergic to cats. And is it just me, or do cats know when you're allergic to them? Because this cat would spend the entire time rubbing up on my leg, jumping into my lap, sitting on top of my head, digging its claws into my skin. Everything my girlfriend wasn't doing. So I asked her, I said, is there any place that we can go where there are no cats? And she suggested camping in the desert. I'm Jewish. Do you have any idea how many years my people have spent camping in the desert? And you know what? For the most part, I like being Jewish. It bothers me a little bit that I can't have bacon. <laughs> Jews don't eat bacon because it's not kosher. Most Jews don't know what kosher means. <laughs> so I looked it up. It means never eating anything that might bring joy into your life. <laughs> Jews believe that if we adorn our bodies with ink, God won't recognize us after we die. Really? God, the creator of all things, including tramp stamps? think she is? My mother? I can't even joke with my mother about getting a tat. Jason, if you get a tattoo, we can't be buried in the same cemetery. I know. That's why I want the tattoo.
too. <laughs> you don't want to spend eternity with your family? I am 47 years old. <laughs> I've already spent eternity with my family. <laughs> you have to promise me that even after I die, you won't get a tattoo. After you die, I'm getting a motorcycle. <laughs> Get a motorcycle. Why not? Because I said so. I'm an adult, mommy. <laughs> but I'll worry. You'll be dead. I'm your mother. Just because I'm dead doesn't mean I won't worry. All my life, all I've ever wanted is a motorcycle. But first, my mother wouldn't let me have one, and now, my nine-year-old daughter won't let me have one. And every time we see a motorcycle, she says, Look, Daddy, there's another thing that you can't have. <laughs> Why can't I have a motorcycle? Because I don't want you to die, Daddy. Well, I don't want you to wear heels and change your name to Midnight. <laughs> No one is going to think that's why you changed your name. <laughs> well, Daddy, why else would I be called Midnight? You are too young for me to explain that to you. And it is too soon for me to have failed as your father. <laughs> well, I'll just wait until you die, and then I'll change my name. I'm not going to die for a really long time, sweetheart. Well, maybe I will let you get a motorcycle. <laughs> you have to promise me that even after I'm dead, you will not change your name to Midnight. Why? Because I'll worry. You'll be dead. I'm your father. Just because I'm dead doesn't mean I won't worry. Alright, well, if you don't want me to change my name to Midnight, then you have to buy me a dog. And so I did what any ill-equipped to handle conflict with his child father would do in this situation. And I got her a dog. And we adopted this extremely beautiful and exotic Italian hunting dog called a Lagato Romagnolo. And don't worry if you don't know what that looks like. It looks like a Labradoodle. And this means every time I walk this dog, people can't decide if I'm a hipster or a homosexual. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with being a hipster. <laughs> Obviously, there's nothing wrong with being homosexual either. One of my friends is probably gay. <laughs> But you know how it is with kids. I'm the one doing all the work. And I just can't shake this feeling that I'm cheating on my old dog with my new dog. I take her to the same parks. I make her chase the same balls. She's sleeping in my old dog's bed. I never change the sheets. And all animals are a little strange. This dog has a foot fetish. Uh, the other night, she spent seven minutes giving me a toe job. <laughs> After a two-hour hike. Oh. And I didn't even know that I was into that. The only thing more unsettling than finding out that your dog has a foot fetish is realizing you're into it. <laughs> oh, look, 
I don't want to slut shame this animal. <laughs> but she's eight years old, and she's a rescue, so there is no telling how many guys she's licked. <laughs> so good, I accidentally called her by my old dog's name. <laughs> as much as I enjoy the feeling of her soft, supple tongue on my toes, I still feel like I made a mistake adopting this dog. I will say, the fetch is great. <laughs> but what I actually want is a girlfriend. And she does have some qualities that I would appreciate in a woman. She's loyal, she loves me unconditionally, and all I have to do is say, come, and she does it. <laughs> My name is Jason Scholler, you are 300 of the coolest people I've ever met. Thank you very much, have a great evening.